everyone, it's Erin from the Herrick District Library here with another baby story time for you. Um, this story time is designed for those of us who have infants entering into our lives or um, those of us who are infants through about 18 months. We have uh, that age range in here. This is a very interactive between the adult and the child. So, um, and really, honestly, my goal is to teach all of these to you. It's not so much like, oh, we're going to sit here together and do this once. It's really my goal is for you to do these over and over and over again. Find your favorite songs that they love the most and do them again and again and again. It's only going to be about 10 minutes. I'll share about three songs or so and hopefully connect it to some daily activities for you um, so that you can do them together. So um, if our baby wants to hang out with us, cool. If not, hang out with me and uh, we'll teach you these songs that you can do later on. So our first one is a movement song. It's to the tune of uh, Mary Wore Her Red Dress, if you're familiar with that. For this one, we're going to kick our feet. If we are old enough to kick our own feet, we can kick our own feet. We're going to wave with our arms. We're going to sway from side to side. And then we're going to kiss with our lips. If we have a baby, this is a great one to do with them on their backs or them on our laps with their neck supported by our knees. Um, and do the motions for them. So I'm going to go through this one probably twice and um, we'll see how, um, we'll see, I'll try and sort of do them both. So here we go. Can you kick with your feet, your feet, your feet? Can you kick with your feet? Kick, kick, kick. Next, we're going to wave our arms. Can you wave with your arms, your arms, your arms? Can you wave with your arms? Wave, wave, wave. And next we're going to sway from side to side. Can you sway from side to side to side? Can you sway from side to side to side? And our last one, we're going to kiss with our lips. Can you kiss with your lips, your lips, your lips? Can you kiss with your lips? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So for that one, I would probably just skip that little. I'd just do, can you kiss with your lips? Mwah. Like you can break it up a little bit because you want to get those kisses in there for sure. Let's do that one again. We're going to do it one more time. Here we go. Can you kick with your feet, your feet, your feet? Can you kick with your feet? Kick, kick, kick. And next we're going to wave our little arms. Can you wave with your arms, your arms, your arms? Can you wave with your arms? Wave, wave, wave. And next we're going to sway side to side. You know, if our baby is on their backs, you can sort of gently rock them side to side too. That would work. It kind of helps them get that motion, especially for those of us who aren't quite rolling over yet, to get that sort of motion to roll over. Can you sway from side to side to side? Can you sway from side to side to side? And our last one, what are we going to do? Kiss with our lips. Can you kiss with your lips, your lips, your lips? Can you kiss with your lips? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Just like that. Great job, friends. I love that tune. It's not one that we hear very often anymore. So I'm really glad I got to bring that one out. Uh, excuse me. For our next one, we're going to use a little bit of sign language for these two. One of them is a diaper changing song and the other is a bath time song. But you can use these signs for both. And actually, you can use these signs for lots of things. Um, the first one is dirty. Mm, we take our palm out, um, down, under our chin, and then wiggle our fingers. Dirty. So sometimes we have a dirty face. Dirty face. Your face is dirty. I need to make it clean. And this is the sign for clean. When we have one palm down and the other one sort of brushing across it like that, like we're cleaning something. So again, this works really well. It's time to clean our, up our toys, right? It's time to clean up our toys. Um, it's time for us to clean your hands for supper. It looks like your face is a little dirty. We need to make sure you get nice and clean. Um, so I'm going to do the diaper changing song first. The uh, bath time song, you're not going to use the sign language as you sing the song. It's more of an introduction to like, we're, remember, we're dirty. We have to take our bath. So um, this is to the tune of 
She's Coming Around the Mountain. Um, and again, this is a good diaper changing song for me when we notice it's time to change the diaper and we're on our way to the diaper changing table. I'd start singing it then and doing that motion. Um, once we are on the diaper changing table, obviously it gets a little bit harder, but you can keep singing it over and over and over again. So here's how this one goes. Oh, it's time to change your diaper cause it's dirty. Oh, it's time to change your diaper cause it's dirty. Oh, it's time to change your diaper. Oh, it's time to change your diaper. Oh, it's time to change your diaper cause it's dirty. And now we just changed your diaper. Now it's clean. We just changed your diaper, now it's clean. We just changed your diaper, we just changed your diaper, we just changed your diaper, now it's clean. Failed to mention, this is the sign for diaper. It's it's odd, it seems very old to me, but like it's um, like we're closing the sides of a diaper. So that's all that one is. Um, and for our bath time song, this is one that you can say, it looks like we're dirty. We're going to get in the bathtub and it's time to get clean. And this one is so easy. Um, we're going to, I'm going to just demonstrate a few body parts and um, some children love baths and that's great. Some kids don't. I always say that like if we get fussy, Oftentimes songs can help soothe us. Hearing our grown up sing a song, especially if it's one that we've heard over and over and over again, can be a soothing activity for them. So right from the beginning, when we're bathing our little itty bitty ones, you can sing this song. Um, so here we go. Here's how it goes. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face in order to be clean. How about next we do our arms? This is the way we wash our arms, wash our arms, wash our arms. This is the way we wash our arms in order to be clean. How about our legs? This is the way we wash our legs, wash our legs, wash our legs. This is the way we wash our legs in order to be clean. How about our hands? Sometimes we just need to wash our hands and we could sing the song just at that moment when we need to wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands in order to be clean. And how about we end with our tummies? Yeah. This is the way we wash our tummies, wash our tummies, wash our tummies. This is the way we wash our tummies in order to be clean. Just like that. So again, using these signs um, in various ways, uh, dirty and clean, um, is a great way to, for our word when we're not talking yet, when we're not verbal, you saying the word and doing the sign will hopefully help them communicate to you as well. Wouldn't it be great if when they are, when they need their diaper change, they're like, diaper dirty, so that um, you know. <laughs> um, so anyway, I hope you find those helpful and we'll see you next time. Bye friends.